do you have any idea why I called you here today? Any at all? Go on, ask. Every single thing I do here has been a travesty. You can't expect me to pinpoint just one event. I think this is one of those rhetorical questions. These past two routes, you've been less than favorable in your approaches to waking me up. It's a part of Ice Tribe culture. If you want your day to pan out fine, you get the pan at the crack of nine. And what's the inspiration for your method, Felicia? Meth! Fair enough. Look, I have some global politics to screw up, so Mr. Corrin is going to let you off on one condition. That being? Can you tell me how to transition to a title card? Hey, 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 how's your favorite sibling doing? Surely you wouldn't betray your best pal and buddy Xander. Don't listen to him, Corrin. If you come with us, we'll, uh, nachos. We got nachos. What should I choose? Uh, um, oh, okay, I I've made up my mind. I choose to break the fourth wall. Goodbye. <coughs> Ow. I actually love that. Neat. Look out below! Oh, no. Ah! Oh, my spine. Oh, my spine. It's pretty convenient being able to jump off a cliff and survive. No kidding. I guess it's just us versus the world now, huh? Yeah, and let's not forget the giant plot hole dragon of death. Excuse me? There's only room for one dragon person screwing up the world, and that's me. I'm gonna go recruit some people. Da dun. Da dun. Dun 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 Corrin, what are you- Can you join me, please? I need your help liberating Ontario from an interdimensional god. What kind of tomfoolery is this? I'll eat my own socks before I believe- I'm- I'm eating my own socks. You in? Corrin, my buddy, my fellow, what do you think that answer is? Not in a million years, tomato. What I say no to that offer, let's go. Lots and lots of chapters with bots later. Hey, Scarlet. <laughs> Goodbye, Scarlet. Anyone got any options? Divide and conquer? One step ahead, yeah. I hope you don't mind, but uh, I'm gonna stay a bit towards the back. Moral support, something like that. What, are you scared? No, it's just- Prepare yourselves, the enemy is here. Oh god, she's here. Who? <gasps> is that my doll in Azula? Hey, mom. It must have been years. You look as beautiful as the day you left the nest. You abandoned me as a child. Oh, how kiddos grow up so fast. Wow, talk about a rough childhood. <sighs> Honestly, I'm more magic got rid of my music collection. I thought they were your grandpappies. Oh, shut up. You're too old to understand the significance of vinyls. Now, now, let's not argue over who abandoned who. We're all here to fight the plot hole dragon. So let's all get along, okay? Corn, Corn. Yeah? She's working for the dragon. Really? Yeah, why do you think I'm being so rude to her? Aside from the vinyl thing. Listen up, Azura Mom. Just call me Arate. If you don't get out of our way, we'll be forced to move you. By force. Forcefully. Oh, dear me. How about this? Is this far enough away? Farther. How about this? Farther. Here? Farther. Now? Not yet. How about now? Farther. Uh, Not right now, Azura. You're almost there. As cathartic as this is, I think that's plenty far. You might have a point. Castle should be just across these bridges. I guess that's another way of interpreting this series as abridged. <laughs> I'll strangle you for that later. We need to create a master plan to get inside. I have listened to the entire Sabaton discography, so I'm practically a tactical genius. I'm more worried about the stability of those bridges. Leo, come here. Oh, you need help with the bridge? Brynhildr can probably grow some vines to keep it steady so we can cross. Go fetch! <laughs> Tomato! Ah! Gotcha! Corrin, what was that for? And now we know that bridge isn't safe to cross. You almost got Leo killed! Actually, I was never Leo. Cause I am Leo Frotia from Premiere, I know. But how did you- Cause I'm actually Callow Millis from Premiere! This joke makes no sense. It seems we have come across two doors. Should we each go through one to see where it leads? Why'd you phrase it that way? It sounded really scripted. Funny you should say that. Go left. Okay, Ghost Mom, left it is. This is the door song, this is the door song, this is the song for going through doors. You don't look so good, Corin. That door took me straight to Twitter.com. Oh god, I think I might have gotten brain damage. My door 
wasn't anything bad. Maybe it's just a matter of luck guessing which to go through. Go right. Okay, I'm going right this time. This is the door song, this is the door song, this is the song for going through doors. Stomachs do not work like that! Deviant art, huh? Go left. Okay, you know what? Now I get it. You want me to go left, so I'll have to deal with another horrific internet experience. Is what I would say. This is an elaborate trick. You want me to go right this time and end up in the bad door because my previous experience tells me not to listen to you. But in reality, you're playing mind games with me to convince me not to go in the correct door, which is actually the left door. Well, I'm not falling for it. Nobody tries the same thing three times and expects people not to learn from their mistakes. I will go left, and there's nothing you can do to- This is the door song, this is the door song, this is the song for going through doors. <laughs> that bad, huh? It was for affinity. <laughs> You are an idiot. Leave me be! Is that an elevator? I don't think elevators are supposed to even exist in this world. True, I guess. Let's check it out. <laughs> that was a fun dance break. Now let's check out that elevator. How's this look, Azura? Looks like you're enjoying these geography jokes a little too much. Tactical Felicia! Ah, <laughs> oh, my nostrils burn with the heat of a thousand suns. Well fought. Then! At last, my time to exact my revenge on Corrin is finally upon me. <laughs> What's Gunter's body doing here? Oh well. Look out below! Not again. <laughs> my spine again. Must you keep landing your buttocks on my back? Just be glad I didn't land on your head. I'd kind of like that actually. I'm your cousin. Why'd you have to make it weird? Fools from above, I will eliminate you from this kingdom. Too bad, I got the funny sword. Oh, 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 that, that, that's a very funny sword. Yep, um, I, I'm gonna phone a friend. Uh, Garen, I summon thee. This is gonna be one of those days, isn't it? Garen, fight and destroy Corrin. Of course, master. Wait, what? Dude, that's my kid. You will obey you me. Think I'm just gonna sit here and take this? I'm a single father with four kids. I got enough to deal with. Corrin, remember that handy dandy thing I gave you at the beginning of the game? This thing? I think now's a good time to exercise that right. You'll never win once I've activated my final form. <laughs> a complete abomination. Wow, you are ugly. Anyway, I will never back down, for I have learned many important things on this journey. As the great Barracks Obamba once said, a cringe man will think that he is based, but a base man accepts his cringe self. I accept my cringe self. That being this game's terrible story, but underrated gameplay that people don't give a chance because it's popular to hate face in the FE community, and the story being bad giving people the chance to laugh at it the whole way through. But yeah, I will defeat you by my own hand- I'm mean, I mean, so alive! Welp, I guess we gotta make peace now. Is there anything we can agree upon to settle it? Thighs, thighs. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see other fun things from me, remember to check out my channel.